Hey mga kanayan, this is Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip na yan. So for today's topic, we will talk about the problem solving involving the factors of polynomials. So this is the part 3, no? so let's start. So, in this video, we will, we will cover the topics of the factoring the general trinomial and factoring the by grouping. So, for example, number one, no? this is a factoring by uh, general trinomial. No? So, number one, so the length of a rectangular piece of paper is five units more than its width. You know? So, the area of the paper is 126 square units. Find the length of the paper. So, kung titignan natin yung problem, no? So, rectangular piece of paper. So, pag rectangular, no? <clears throat> recall natin na ang area is equivalent to length times the width. Then, yung area. And then, ang sabi rito, no? The length is 5 units more than, no? So, 5 more than the width. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang width natin is W, ngayon, ang length natin, sabi niya, mas mahaba ng lima. So, ibig sabihin, ang sa width natin, so, ang ibig sabihin, ang length natin is 5 plus W. Mas mahaba ng lima. Eh. Kunyari, kung example lang, no? kung 2 yung width, ang length is 7. So, magpa plus 5 ka. So, by substitution, in-substitute na natin yung area equals the length times width. So, the area is 126 square units, di ba? So, length, which is the 5 plus W times width. So, 126 equals 5 plus W times W. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, no? Magkakaroon tayo ng quadratic. No? So, squared. So, 5 W plus W squared. Pag ni-rearrange natin to, no? So, magma-minus muna tayo ng 126 dito at magma-minus tayo dito ng 126 para 0 na lang siya. So, 0 equals W squared. Unayin natin yung may exponent, no? Na squared na 2 plus 5W minus 126. So, ito, no? Si W squared plus 5W minus 126, kailangan natin, no? I-factor. So, ipapactor natin to. So, W squared plus 5W minus 126 equals uh, 0. So, kapag pinactor natin yan, no? Ayan. So, ipapaktor natin to Pagpapaktor natin dyan, so meron tayo ditong W. No? May W tayo rito, may W tayo rito. Ngayon, iisip tayo ng 126 na factor niya kapag pinag-plus is positive 5 ang sagot. So, kapag ito yung factor ng 126 is 9 and 14. So, dahil negative yan, isa dapat dyan ay negative. So, simulan natin muna 9 times negative 14. So, pag pinag-plus natin to, no? O pag pinag-plus natin to, so, ang dapat ang lalabas is positive 5. Eh, hindi naman siya positive 5. Ito ay negative 5. So, ibig sabihin, this is not the factor nito ng 126 na kailangan natin. Kapag pinag-plus naman natin to, this is positive 5, which is ang kailangan natin. Positive 5. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung gagawin natin. Ito yung gagamitin natin. So, x... Uh, w minus 9 then positive 14 ngayon, 0 property no? so ang gagawin natin yan lalagyan natin siya sa 0 so W minus 9 equals 0 so W equals positive 9 no? kapag nag minus tayo sa kabila at sa kabila so yan ay positive ah, nag plus tayo, no? positive 9 ganun din naman sa W 14 plus 14 so W plus 14 equals 0. So, W equals negative 14. That is a zero, pro zero property, no? And then, dahil isa is negative, isa is positive, i-disregard natin yung negative. 
ang kukunin lang natin is positive kasi wala namang measure na negative, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, ang, ang ating W, ang W natin is 9. Ngayon, ang L natin, yung length natin is 5 plus W or 5 plus 9. So, yan ay 14. No? So, 14 yung ating length. And ang width naman natin is 9. Before we proceed to number 2, no? tingnan muna natin to Para kasi baka mali pa kayo. No? So, in our polynomial 6x squared plus 14x plus 15, may factor to na 2x plus 5, then 3x plus 3, 2x plus 3, and 3x minus 5. Paano nakuha yung factor nito? Ipapactor muna natin yung 6. Ito yung 2 and 3. No, ihiwalay natin yan, yung 6. Pwede rin namang, yan, na 2 and 3, no? So, yung 15, ganun din, no? Yung 15, ihiwalay din natin yan, yan, yung 5 and 3, 5 and 3. So, sa binigay na, no, sa given natin, no? So, alin dito, sa dalawa, ang makapagbigay ng 19x, no? So, 6x squared plus 19x plus 15. So, pag miniplus natin to, this is, 19x. So, ibig sabihin, no, ang factor ng 6x squared plus 19x plus 15 is 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 5. So, may kinalaman yan sa ating next na question. Uh, question number 2, no. In 3x plus 5 hours, a tricycle can travel a distance of 6x squared plus 19x plus 15 kilometer. What is the average speed? So, alam natin yung distance is equivalent to speed times the time, no? So, ayan yung pagkuha ng distance. So, dahil ang distance natin is the 6x squared, ang bigyan na gaya dito na 6x squared plus 19x plus 15 and the time, no, is 3x plus 5. So, so isasubstitute natin yan. So, d is the speed. times the time, no? So, ang distance natin, no, na 6x squared plus 19x plus 15 equals do sa speed ang hinahanap natin, no? What is the speed? So, yan yung ating hinahanap. So, this is the speed and the time, which is the 3x plus 5. So, yung kaninang pinaktor natin, no? So, ano ba yung factor natin kanina rito? So, sa 6x squared plus 19x plus 15. Nakuha natin yan na ang factor nito, no? Ay 2x plus 3. Ito naman yung 3x plus 5. So, therefore, no? Ang speed natin, kung ito yung ating time, ang speed natin, Therefore, ang speed natin is the 2x plus 3 km per hour. So, example number 3, no? In an area of a classroom is 3ab plus ac plus 6b plus 2c meter squared. Find the dimension. So, this time, no? Factoring by grouping tayo. So, ang, ang classroom daw, ito yung kanyang area, no? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin dito, what is the dimension? Alam natin ang area of a classroom is the uh, length times the width, no? So, ipapaktaw natin to and then hahanapin natin yung kanyang dimension. So, so ipapaktaw natin tong 3AB plus AC plus 6B plus 2C. So, grouping, i-group natin tong dalawa na to dito, first term, second term, tsaka third term, tsaka fourth term. So, dahil i-group natin yan, no? So, alin dito, So, parang isusulat natin yan as 3AB plus AC plus 6B plus 2C tapos AC. Okay, using the mon monomer, common monomer factor, no? So, pwede natin itong isulat as 3 times A times B. Ito naman, A times C. So, alin dito yung parehas sa kanya? Eh, yun yung 
A. So, ang gagawin natin dito, A ang ating susulat dito. Yung sa taas, ano yung natira sa taas? 3, tsaka B. So, ilalagay natin dito, 3, B, kukopyayin natin ito, plus, ano yung natira dito? Which is C. So, C, yan yung ating factor dyan. Using common monomer factor. Dito naman sa ano, 6B. So, 6B, tas 2C, no? Yung 6B, pwede natin isulat yan as 2, times 3, times B. Prime factorization, no? Prime numbers kasi yung 2 tsaka 3. Hindi naman prime number yung 6. So, 2, ito naman, 2 times the C. So, alin yung pareha sa kanila? Ang pareha sa kanila ay itong 2. 2. So, ibig sabihin, no? Plus, gagawin natin dito, 2. Ngayon, yung natira dito, which is 3, B, then copy, plus, ano yung natira dito? C. No? So, ngayon, ano yung common sa kanila? So, 3B plus C. 3B plus C. So, isusulat na lang natin yan as isa. No? So, 3B plus C. Ngayon, dahil isa na lang yan, pero magpuproceed na tayo sa multiplication. Ang natira na lang is A plus 2. So, lalagyan natin dito. A plus 2. So, ibig sabihin, ang factor, no, lang lang nito no back factor yung grouping itong ating polynomial is 3b plus c times a plus 2 so ito yung ating magiging dimension so that's all so sana may natutunan kayo so don't forget to like share and subscribe and then don't forget to hit the notification bell para naman lagi kang updated sa mga videos ko no so that's all no good luck soldier